Hey, my loves. It's Love Bird, and today is Love Bird Wellness Day. Yet again, I know we missed out on Meaningful Monday, y'all. I'm going to make it up to you next week. Had a lot going on, but today we're going to talk about our health and wellness. And our topic for discussion today is stress. Yes, I know we've been talking about how to get our bodies in order and how to make sure our natural bodies are good and great. But now we want to switch and talk about our minds, our mental state, our mental health today. And I got a few questions as usual. Y'all know how I do. I want to know, and you can answer this for yourself. I always encourage you to ask yourself these questions in honor and answer honestly. So you could see where you are and how to gauge how you're handling whatever, you know, we're talking about. But today we're going to talk about stress and a couple of questions for you. Are you well in your mind? Are you well in your mind? I saw a post on Facebook, I think yesterday, and it said that my brain has too many tabs open. Y'all know how we use our internet browsers and we got like 10 tabs open. It's like, okay, it's time to chill and relax and close some of these. So we need to make sure that our brain doesn't have a lot of tabs open because that constant train of thought and constant master planning and all of that, it becomes overwhelming for your mind. So we want to know, have you adjusted your life to handle your stress level? Instead of trying to bring your stress level down, have you just adjusted your life around your stress? Because that happens. That happens unknowingly. We make it comfortable for us to be stressed. We make ourselves comfortable in our stress. So those are a few questions I want you to think about. And we're going to go over a few signs of stress, physical and emotional. Uh, I have a list here from American Institute of Stress and Healthline.com. I'll be posting those links later. But physical signs of stress is low energy. You're tired all the time. You're lethargic. Headaches, constant headaches can be a sign of stress. Upset, upset stomach, aches and pains in your body. Your body is just sore and achy and you really don't understand why. Insomnia, lack of sleep. You can't go to sleep. You don't get good sleep. I know we talked about sleep the week before. And even chest pain and irregular heartbeat. Those are some physical signs, emotional signs, moodiness, irritability, uh, feeling overwhelmed, isolation. Are you isolating yourself? Are you distancing yourself from people around you? Anxiety, of course, agitation. Are you easily agitated? Are you easily irritated? Those are some emotional signs of stress. And if this applies to you, I have a few tips on how to reduce your stress level. Um, get enough sleep. We talked about sleep. You guys can actually check out that video. It's still uploaded to the page. So get enough sleep. Make sure you are exercising, yoga, whatever kind of exercise. It releases endorphins in your system and it calms you. Uh, you can even take natural supplements if you want to. Lemon balm and green tea are two great natural supplements that you could take to reduce your stress level. Light a candle, lavender chamomile, uh, rose scented candles, those scents are relaxing. They help you to relax and calm down and that can help with your stress level as well. And if you lay off the caffeine, that coffee, all of the teas and sodas and stuff that have caffeine in it, that gets that's a stimulant. So it pushes your body to go, go, go. So if you want to reduce your stress, lay off of some of that coffee. I know that's probably hard, but you can do that as well. I'm a writer, so you can write it out. Write out what you're feeling. Make sure that you have a healthy way of expressing yourself. Spending top quality time with friends and family. Learning to say no. That is a big one that I think we should do more of. 
We are not Superman. We are not Superwoman. We can't be everywhere all at the same time. So managing your time and learning to say no and putting yourself in a situation where you can accomplish what you set out to accomplish easy with comfortability is a great thing to do to relieve some stress. And I know I have to leave y'all with a couple of scriptures just to encourage you and to remember that God is with you. Whatever situation you find yourself in, whatever things that you're dealing with that is overwhelming you, know that God is right there with you. And this is how you reach him. Philippians 4 and 6. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. That is the best way to make sure that you reduce some of that stress. You take it to God. You give it to God. You thank God for handling it. And you believe God that he's going to do what you ask him to do. Joshua 1 and 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You don't have to hold on to the stress. You don't have to hold on to the anxiety. You don't have to hold on to the feeling of being overwhelmed and overworked. God is with you and he is more than capable of reducing your stress. I hope this helped y'all. Again, I will have the links posted after this video is posted. Have a happy Lovebird Wellness Day and don't forget to spread the love.